my wife's previous hairdryer broke. It was a Dyson. It's probably five years old, maybe. But this is the Neural. This is their latest, greatest. The box is kind of large, larger than I thought. And their claim to fame is it's sensing. You can do the research. This really isn't about the functionality. It's about what it looks like. So, just a simple close-up and uh, what to expect. I will turn it on, but stay tuned and I'll show you up close and personal with the Dyson Neural. All right, so if you're looking for the ultimate um, hair dryer, in my opinion anyway. At the very least, it's probably one of the most expensive, but uh, not much more expensive than their top of the line over a number of years. The cord is ridiculously thick. It's got GFI protection right on the plug, and the cord is very long, and it's got a DC converter, which is kind of interesting. That's what I think this is, anyway. Um, I would imagine that the motor is DC, but the heat element is AC. So I bet that's what this is. It runs multiple wires up here, uh, AC and DC, once it makes it past, past this point. I bet that's what they've done. And that's why it's so thick. It's not thick because it's handling an enormous amount of amps. Even though it does, uh, it's probably because of that AC-DC feature. But um, it still has the filter in the bottom here, and it is still not the greatest uh, connection. And what I mean by that is this is an opportunity for it to break. Let's see, where the heck do you line it up? There we go. Nope. See what I mean? There we go. So because your hand is constantly pressing on here, this has broken in the past. This is improved. Very heavy duty. I know I said this was just a close up, but here I am giving you my opinion. Uh, but anyway, one more observation is how ridiculously strong this is. <laughs> you can twist it, but holy cow, that magnet is strong. And all the other components have the same. And um, it has an interesting design because there's a sensor in here that measures the distance between your hair and the dryer and constantly adjusts the heat. Uh, so let's get to the close-up. Try to stay in focus here. Very thick, very soft, pliable. You already saw this. This is like a plasticky ceramic kind of feel. It's definitely plastic, but it's just powder coated with something to make it feel um, you know, it, it's what you would expect, typical matte finish. This button is just a press button. And then on and off. Doesn't really have a significant click, just on and off. And then you've got these buttons here. This one adjusts the fan speed. Stop it. Stop it. Got a little dog here that you can check out. So these buttons are kind of interesting. You can check out Lacey on her uh, Legato Romagnolo playlist, which I'll put a link in for. Anyway, these buttons don't actually have a very clear and obvious text, uh, textile or click. You know, they just kind of, it feels like a momentary on. So you can't even hear a click. This one, more clicky. But if you look very closely, you've got a computer board that goes all the way around here. I think that's kind of interesting. Uh, there's a light in here and some kind of sensor. It's not just a clear pass-through like their old units. But the size is basically the same. Same size. Weight is the same. These are LED lights. 
these are LED lights, and then these, this is a light, and this is a light. And then, like I mentioned, there's a light in there. I'll turn it on in a minute. I won't be, you won't be able to hear me when it's running, but at least you'll be able to see all the lights. The feeling on this is like a matte finish. It feels like vinyl, very thin coat of vinyl, or it feels like matte powder coating. If you've got some uh, danger information here, you know, wattage, whatever. This is totally flat. You can't even feel it. The plug is shiny. Again, your typical GFI, and it has a light on it. Comes with these warnings that need to come off immediately. See, I will tear these off immediately, and I will even clean the glue off. My wife will leave these on for the rest of the device's life. Anyway, this is uh, shiny. You can see it's already getting marked up and very lightweight, shockingly lightweight. You would expect it to be heavier. And the cord is your typical Dyson cord. I mean, very heavy duty, and we already talked about that. Okay, let me plug it in, and you can hear it run, and I'll show you the lights. The cord is almost cumbersome. Oh, look at that. Turned itself on. So it does have this feature. That feature is when you lay it down, it goes into cool mode and keeps running. When you pick it up, it goes into whatever setting you have it on and the heat comes off. I think if you go like this, so that actually, I'll put it down so you can hear me. That actually hurts my hand, but it, because it stays hot, but you can see, so if that's super hot, now it's cooler. Ow, now it's cooler. I could use like a, hold on. Let me get a towel. And it's designed to not burn your hair, I guess. There we go. Cooler, hotter. Cooler, hotter. Kind of cool. Anyway, let me show you this. We've got three different heat settings. We've got fan settings. I don't think I was hitting this hard enough. For some reason it's giving you only two here. It does have a cool shot right there. There's off, there's on, off. And then this button gives you, I guess you can keep the light off if you want to. Put the light on if you want to. These sure look like LEDs, but they're not coming on when I do really anything. And again, when you set it down, so if you, whoop, stop it. If you're really sneaky, it doesn't know you picked it up. Right. Okay, Lacey is telling me that we are done with this video. Are we done? You wanna go outside? Is that, is that what's happening? We'll go outside. All right, well, thanks for watching. See you next time.